Threat Prevention Out of the Box State By the end of this training, you'll be able to evaluate the out of the box state of the device. Once you have completed the first time wizard, all of the threat prevention blades are enabled. Updates are pending, so after you've ran the first time wizard and you have established internet connectivity, you'll be able to get the latest updates. SSL inspection is currently disabled, but the device is using HTTPS categorization instead. I have now switched over to my Quantum Spark VNF appliance, meaning this is not my real physical appliance, it's a virtual one, because I wanted a fresh install without any of the updates. So if I'll go to Threat Prevention, I can see that the, in terms of the blades, IPS, antivirus, antibot, and threat prevention are enabled, and I have updates pending. So all of the updates are scheduled automatically. I can click on one of those. I can see the schedule updates. This IPS is up to date. I can go to antivirus. If I'll go to schedule updates, here I can see that IPS, antivirus, antibot, and application control are all scheduled to have a daily task to run the update at 1 a.m. But if I want to, I can always go and click Update Now and update the device right now. Policy, by default, we're using the recommended policy, logging everything that happens, protection activation, so um, vulnerabilities that are at high confidence will be prevented, medium confidence will be prevented, low confidence will be detected. I can go and set up exceptions if I want to. Here I can see the infected device within my network. A list of the IPS protections, modify the engine settings, modify anti-spam, exceptions, and also the SSL status, which currently is disabled. I mean, it's not disabled, but it's not using classic SSL traffic inspection. It's using HTTPS categorization. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.